Hello guys, today we're going to be talking about the explanation of the close call. Well, I don't know if it's me or if it's coincidence, but... There has been a lot of crap going down lately while biking, and a lot of it has to do with, you know, the timing and stuff. So, for those who recall from last week, I had a road rage incident with these uh, dirt bikers and ATVs where they were speeding past me, and I laid on my horn, and I yelled at them. Yeah. Well, then there's something else that has happened yesterday or was it yesterday it was the day before yesterday um it happened on monday i was um biking down the road in, in in the estates and i was going to go make a left right and um and as i was making that left i was you know i i was stopped and looking at the um looking at the um at the cars so I'm watching them as they pass by in my mirror. Well, then I see this cyclist coming down the road. And this cyclist... Um, was going to make a right turn. So... So I had to get... From the cyclist down into um down into the road and what ended up happening was is that these is um is that I decided to start to turn and I turn and next thing you know I hear this loud screech and it, it was like a such a loud screech it sounded like a beep you know like a you know, like an alarm beeping in a way. And it just sounded like this loud tone and then like screeched. And I turned around and I looked. I looked and there was a truck right there that just about almost hit me. And what I did was I waved my hand at him like that. I went and waved at him to say sorry and I got across the road. Now, yes, um, is that that was a that was an error in judgment, was not paying attention. And so, um, so yeah, so it was definitely, definitely, definitely crazy. And so, you know, that's what happened. So then, what happened was after I had turned. The cyclist was right up on my butt. Like, I mean, this guy was, like, going, like, 20, and I was going 15. I was going, like, under that speed. And this guy was right on my butt. He didn't pass me or anything. And I'm wondering why is, because I thought he was going to go into the Westmoreland Village and, uh, and, um, stay. And the, uh, I thought he was, I thought he lived in the Westmore Village. Turns out he didn't. Turns out he followed me the whole way around the circle going 20 miles an hour. And, and so he follows me the whole way out. And then he turns down another village. And I, cause I thought he was gonna, you know, come up to me and, you know, ask, talk about the situation which has happened, which has had transpired. So, yeah, so it was very, um, so it was very crazy. And so after that, you know, I was very glad I didn't get hit. Now let's talk about what was the cause of it and what was the result. So the cause of it was, um, the cause of it was, um, was, um, the cause of it was I was um, not paying attention and I thought it was clear and I wanted to get in front of the cyclist. 
So it started turning, and that's when I heard the screech, and I'm like, oh, crap. We almost got hit. And it was a new Ram truck, like the 2019s, 2020s Rams. And I don't know if they are equipped with um, with that kind of automatic braking system, but here's what my analogy is. Nobody can break that fast. And what I mean by that is that there is, it, it's almost impossible for somebody to break it that fast in just one second. One second. Don't know if he had predicted it, but I had no idea that this truck was even there until the last second. And when I saw the truck stop, I was like, oh no. Now the person didn't honk their horn. They didn't honk. They didn't do anything like that. And when I was, um, and you know, when I was, you know, having that happen, I was wondering, well, what did I do? You know, because I didn't do anything wrong. To where, how did he manage to break that fast? Now, the thing is, he didn't honk the horn. He didn't honk or anything like that. He basically just slammed on his brakes, and that's when I heard the screech had happened. And that's when I was wondering, you know, what really, you know, did this guy know about how fast could he stop? And what ended up happening is the guy never honked, never yelled, never did anything. I was wondering if it was like almost robotic. And I don't know who was driving it, but it seemed very robotic. Like, I mean, it just stopped right on the dime. And, you know, for those who drive trucks and drive Jeeps, you guys know that trucks can't stop on a dime. So, I think it was his braking system that did that. Because I think on the new vehicles, they actually have it. Which, which was a good thing, because had it had been another car, I probably would have been hit. And it was at that same intersection where I almost was hit before when I was coming out of Matthews. Because I was coming out of Matthews, I was going to make us go straight across. And there was this yellow car that slammed on their brakes and they almost hit me. Yeah. And, you know, that's the whole reason why you have to be careful. And that's why a driver has to be careful. So this right here is by Lorelei L I N. I don't know how to really say that. It says save yourself and the children on the road. Bike bicycle Russia dash the best. And there is a link to his YouTube channel. Yeah, I guess it's a right analogy there. Yeah. So then what happened was is um is after that I just. Was like, oh my goodness. So stay tuned for the end because um, there is a gaming clip that I have where it was interrupted. So let that be a lesson. Never interrupt me. So, hey guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and you guys comment, you guys subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video.